What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about Chucky in this video here today going over the upcoming film that we know is supposed to be coming soon and I'll be sharing my thoughts on what I could see them doing. Something very dark and twisted and I think at one point it was an idea for the original film with Andy Barkley and his mother but I'll get to that in a second. As we all know you just cannot keep a good guy down. Despite Chucky having that short-lived TV show run, Don Mancini and Universal are not planning on letting that foul mouth dog go anytime soon. They're not going to let it go that easily. Don already informed us earlier this year that a new film was in development while also sharing his hopes of how he wanted to do the show in tandem with the movies. That's not going to happen because, of course, as we all know, this summer the show was canceled. Many of us celebrated that. Instead, all eyes are on the next film and it would appear we have an idea on when we can potentially expect this film to drop because Grazia Magazine interviewed Jennifer Tilly and during this interview that was published, they prefaced everything building up to their questions with Jennifer by mentioning that a new Chucky film would be arriving in 2026 or 2027. Now, at first, I didn't think much of it because Grazia Magazine isn't universal, which of course is the IP rights owners. It's not the creator, so it isn't an official confirmation of anything. But shout out to UK for sending this my way. We have an untitled Chucky project that has now appeared in production weekly. So it got me thinking, huh, maybe Jen told the magazine about the plans for the film that she has heard in terms of this release time frame. And with the production weekly listing now popping up, chances are we get news sooner rather than later it's just possible that maybe jen let them in on the fact that they are aiming to have the film out by 2026 or 2027 and i would imagine they're going to spend in the entirety of 2025 trying to get it right it's been completely ice cold ever since the cancellation announcement and while 2026 2027 is a bit of a wait for a new chucky movie after what happened with that show i many others listening would say in agreement take as much time as you need because you need to get it right <laughs> if we go back to theaters the best route to take is a curse of chucky approach all the sequels show remain canon but they're not necessary for the general public to see this can be the same approach even if you go to a streaming platform let's say they just take it straight to peacock i think this would still be the more appropriate approach to take as opposed to utilizing characters from a show that nobody watched in a mass majority amount a lot of people did not watch this show as much as I wouldn't mind Lexi, Devin, and Jake's story being resolved in a wrap-up film, like I stated again, using characters from a show that very few people watch, it just doesn't seem like the best business move. It seems quite dumb, to be honest. It, it would immediately turn off so many potential viewers who would be excited to see that the Chucky franchise is back, the film franchise. You want to do your very best to basically just ensure that all potential viewers feel they can just jump in with no pressure. Tell a story centered around the relaunch of the good guy doll from play pals or some new toy company give another child star to folk or give us another child star to focus on you can say this child is like age seven they live with their mom who's single just got divorced from their father they get bullied at school they're down in the dumps emotionally etc just throw the whole nine yards at this child to get audiences invested in their arc and want to see them win the mom gets the kid one of the newly launched good guy dolls thinking it will help make matters better for them since they're being bullied at school and dealing with the pressures of the divorce that's ongoing and they don't really have the best home life. Which of course that said doll would end up being Chucky. You can utilize those iconic POV shots that kept us on edge during the original film. Dangle Chucky coming to life on screen in front of us without giving us the full reveal until midway through. So basically edging us as the body count continues to rise. Most of the victims can be other kids who were bullying our main child star. And to catch us season fans off guard, take the story in a very dark direction. Obviously, older adults will start to notice that the ones dying had problems with said lead child. And when questioned, the child will just say they don't know what happened to those other kids or maybe Chucky did it. They can propose two things. They can say they don't know and then they can say, hey, maybe Chucky did it. And then midway through the film, we're going to find out why they said maybe chucky did it we are already expecting and we know chucky is in on it but what i would do to catch everybody off guard even us included who already expect that twist with chucky to come in the fact that they, that chucky's alive reveal to us that the kid is actually doing the killings with chucky the kid is working in tandem with chucky and they are going after the people that have been bullying the child at school 
you can do a narrative like that. That would be completely unexpected for the most part, unless you're listening to this and maybe you saw where I was going. <laughs> I just think that would be a fresh approach to take as opposed to another another Andy Barkley scenario or another Alice type of deal. Give us a child who is actually deeply troubled. They are aware that Chucky is alive and they're working in tandem with the doll to take down their bullies. I could see that being a, a hit with most horror fans. People who are, are already seasoned vets of the franchise like myself who would not be who would not see that coming again unless you're listening to a video like this it would just catch everybody off guard and i think they had an idea like this at one point for the original chucky film when it was andy and his mom but that idea just didn't come to fruition i would love to see something like that play out today it's dark it's a little bit fresh it's taking us down the same path of andy barkley but it's not the exact same outcome because this child is deeply disturbed and they're working alongside Chucky to commit these murders. How that story ends, I haven't really got that far down the rabbit hole of that in my mind. But I mostly just want to talk about the fact that Jennifer Tilly's interview did allude to the potential chance we see a new Chucky film in 2026 or 2027. It's not the biggest confirmation there is. But then we had that production weekly listing pop up. Again, shout out to UK for sending it my way because it just appeared this week. Listing an untitled Chucky project. So we could be getting news about something very soon. And I just wanted to share my thoughts on how I think they could take this in a or approach this in a fresh way that would appeal to fans of the franchise, while also reeling in the wider general public who has not been exposed to a Chucky film in theaters or a Chucky film of this of its magnitude since Seed of Chucky, if they want to treat it as such. You guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. I already know I'm going to have people saying, oh, no, well, you need to do Lexi, Devin and Jake's story again. I wouldn't mind that. You have to be thinking also about what they are going to do business wise. It really doesn't seem productive to tell a narrative led by characters of a show or from a show that most people didn't watch. They just were not watching it. That's why the show got canceled. So to then take those same characters and tell most of your potential consumers that these people are from a series you didn't even know existed and you need to watch that also to understand our movie. No, that's unattractive. You don't want to you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description. I have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.